Hello, my friends. I am your Game Master at Large, Omnisai, here once more in my lair. And I'm answering another question from the RPG Brigade on Facebook for their RPG A Day Challenge. And today is day 17. The question is to describe the best compliment you've had gaming. Well, let me tell you this. The greatest compliment I get from gaming is that people bother to come. All too often I hear stories of, I used to love to game, but there's nobody who does it around me. There's nobody who plays. Nobody comes to these events. And if you hear enough of this, it can lead you to have a fairly grim impression on you know the status of our, our game and our hobby about how inclusive people are allow, allowing other people to come into come into these hobbies or how few people there may be playing well I'll tell you right now there's probably more people playing right now than at any other time uh, the hobby itself has been doing a pretty good job of advertising itself on uh, pop culture and media and such so with the advance of technology and such there's never been more opportunities to play with strangers that you've never met before through uh, software like uh, Roll20, uh, Fantasy, ta Fantasy Grounds, a, a host of other virtual tabletops that you can meet up with other people. I know of groups that play over Skype. Um, so there's all kinds of options for remote play. There's still play by post uh, or play, on for play by forum that you can go and meet with people not face to face. And quite honestly, it's you know, out there enough in the culture that if you meet with somebody, you can probably find somebody who is at least interested in trying something with you. But, as a result of me and knowing all these people who are kind of marooned without opportunities, my greatest compliment has always been and will remain where people come to my table. If I'm at a convention and I sit there and nobody comes, which has happened. It's very disheartening. You wonder what's wrong. Uh, I have a game. I'm ready to share my game with other people. Some of these games don't even require you to have a ticket. You just show up to the table and you're good. Those that do, you know, your cost of entry, you're already at the convention. You know, I would be fairly sad if nobody showed up to, to my games. I don't have the, the, the great uh, name brand recognition or anything that some of the sponsor games have, but I'm a guy willing to tell a story and entertain you for a few hours. So if you come to my table, I take that as a huge compliment right there, that you have given up some of your time to play my game with me. And the fact that I have players who come back time and time again is a huge compliment. That they're my friends doesn't hurt but they have lives, they have things they could be doing. So I never, ever take that for granted, especially my friend who has to come all the way from a city 30 miles away. And he comes every week through snow, through rain, uh, you know. And I know, you know, sometimes they miss because they have other obligations. I don't take that personally. I cherish the times they're there that they'll tell a story with me. Um, that is my greatest compliment and always will be. However, uh, outside of that, being thanked for a game. When I get done with a, with a game at a convention that I've played, I always thank the Game Master. Even if the game was awful, and I've played some awful ones, I still will thank the Game Master and often shake their hand and let them know that I appreciate the work that went into running that game. It's not easy to run convention games for total strangers. It really isn't. It is a challenge. But it's still, you know, nice to be thanked for the effort that you put in to tell a good game. And if that game went off great and they left thrilled and excited about what they did and they have a story that they'll remember, so much the better. That has a lot to do with the people there situation at hand and you know, how good I am, how how on my game I am for that. Doesn't always work perfectly, but I've been lucky. So that those are those are great compliments for me. 
Uh, the last one uh, that I would like to uh, to put out is uh, I did do a play test for my my role playing game Dice File when it was in its infancy, and another game designer who was a regular at that convention uh, bellied up to my table, uh, and on top of stress testing my game, she came up with a character that I had not comprehended, that I had not thought of how I would deal with it. She pointed out some flaws, and she gave me good criticism. Excellent criticism, honestly. Some things that I hadn't thought about, some things that I've since struggled to kind of work into the system, and I've made some dynamic changes since then. But the fact that she took the time to play a game with me, and, you know, she, she paused to give me that, the game itself wasn't particularly strong. Even I was, like, kind of backpedaling a little bit, kind of wasn't sure of my own system as much, if I was going to be able to handle all the things that uh, I wanted to do. But, uh, in the end, I am very grateful for the time she took, the discussion that we had over Euros later on, uh, and uh, it, was, it, was a, it was a wonderful compliment that... Somebody came and wanted to talk about my game and play my game, and that led to new enthusiasm for me and kept me invested, and uh, it was a lot of good that went from that, uh, despite the fact that I realized how much more work I still had to do on it. So, uh, those were some of my finest compliments. Um, my role as the lead storyteller is one oftentimes that kind of can be taken for granted, I know. I don't think my players do, though, and I'm pretty happy about that. I think my players give me a, a fair amount of respect for the, the work I do, and uh, I, I believe they're genuinely grateful. I, you know, sometimes they walk away and they're in a hurry to get home and what have you, but I, I like to think that, uh, you know, they enjoy all these years that we've been telling stories together. So, uh, that is my greatest compliment. So, uh, thank you for watching. If you are one of those people who've played at my tables, thank you. Thank you again. Uh, I would not uh, have been as invested. There's a part of my experience that would not have happened if it wasn't for you, no matter how brief it was. Uh, so, again, if I haven't said that enough, thank you. Uh, from the bottom of my heart. I am Omnisai, once more. And I am hoping to see you again the next time. If you enjoyed this uh, little uh, you know, confessional uh, or uh, you know, revelation of uh, the kind of person I am, um, you know, tell other people about it. Uh, my lair has been growing. I've, I've been getting some subscribers lately, and I think this has been really good for it. But, uh, you know, if anybody challenges you about what gamers are like and what role-playing is like, so maybe some of my stories will help change their minds. And, uh, maybe, uh, might uh, inspire you if you play yourselves to remember, thank your Game Master, whatever form that takes. Uh, we can do a lot of work, and some of us do. So even if you don't do a lot of work, a bit of yourself goes into everything you do in a, a, in a role-playing game, so... Yeah, taking a moment to be appreciative of that is, is always a good thing. So, uh, And I will be here again for another Lair of Omnicide tomorrow. Thank you, and have a wonderful, wonderful experience with your friends, whatever role they take. Farewell. <laughs>